Welcome back to our channel. Today we're looking at the Smock Novo 4. It's a cool compact pod device that gives you the adjustable airflow, interchangeable coils, and adjustable wattage. So let's check this thing out. The Smock Novo 4 features an integrated 800 milliamp battery, adjustable airflow control, a two milliliter pod capacity, 0.8 ohm mesh coil or DC coil, 0.49 inch OLED display screen, and USB Type-C charging. So what's in the box? You're gonna get the Smock Nova 4 device with a two milliliter pod and installed 0.8 ohm mesh coil. You're also going to get another 0.8 ohm coil, but this is a DC, a USB Type-C charging cable, and the user's manual, which you should definitely read before using your Smock Nova 4 device. Now, the first time you use this device, be sure to remove the pod and peel off this protective sticker on the bottom. Otherwise, the connectors won't touch and it won't work. Now this pod has a mesh coil pre-install which will give you more vapor and a softer flavor. Now if you want to change it to the DC coil for less vapor but stronger flavor, you just pull it out like this. Get your fingernail. It just pops right out. Put that one away. Then we're going to take the DC coil and there's a flat edge right there. You want to line that up with the flat edges of the pod and just push that in. Make sure it goes all the way down tight with your finger and it should be flush with the bottom of the pod right there. Now with this pod system, you could use a 50-50 blend or IVG 70-30 blend. Either one will work equally well. Now to fill the pod, you're gonna find the filling port on the side here. There's a black plug covering it. And then just take your fingernail, pry that thing open. You'll see the filling port hole right underneath there. Go ahead and take the nozzle of your e-liquid bottle and stick it into the filling port and give it a squeeze to fill it up. Please be sure not to overfill it. And when the pot is full, you're just gonna release that plug and be sure to push it back in tightly so it fits in snug and nothing leaks out. Go ahead and take your pod, put it back into the Nova 4 device. And we're gonna let that rest for about 10 minutes, just so the liquid can soak into the coil and it won't burn when we go to vape it. Now this device is not always on. You have to turn it on by pressing the button five times very quickly. One, two, three, four, five. And there you see the screen coming on. It's gonna tell you your wattage, your battery level, a few other things. To adjust the wattage, you're gonna press the button twice very quickly, one, two. You enter the water adjustment mode, and every time you press that, it's gonna increment by half a watt. Press that quickly, you can keep going up all the way, if you want to, as much as 25 watts. And if you press it one more time, it's gonna go back to the bottom, which is five watts. So I'm gonna dial that up to 11. But you can do whatever you like. Now to vape from this device, you just take a draw off of the drip tip and it will fire automatically. You don't have to push any buttons. In fact, there are no buttons to push to make it fire. Now to adjust the airflow, you wanna turn the air inlet ring. Right now, the way it's pointing down this way with the line pointing down towards the logo, that is the maximum airflow. So if you want some more resistance, you gotta turn this guy either left or right. So I'm gonna go ahead just with my fingernail and kind of wedge it a little bit there. Okay, now you can see it's at a 45 degree angle. That's gonna give you a little bit more air resistance. And if you want the maximum amount of air resistance, you wanna turn this thing quite a bit to about like that much right there. You're gonna get a lot of air resistance if it's turned at a 90 degree angle like this. So the best thing to do is just adjust this airflow until it gets to the point where you like it. This might be too tight. The other way where it came, it might be too much. Somewhere in the middle, hey, you can do it any way you like. 
So the battery level is displayed on the right side of the LED screen right there. Right now I'm at about 79%, but if I was a bit lower, like down in the single digits, probably won't charge this. So what you're gonna do is take your Type-C cable, attach that to the bottom of the device, and take the other end of your cable, the USB side, plug that into your power source. Let that charge, and once it's up to 100%, you can go ahead, unplug that, and you're ready to go. So overall, the Smock Nova 4 is a pretty cool compact device that has a lot of features. I mean, I really like the fact that you can adjust the airflow, the wattage, and it has interchangeable coils so you can pick the coil that you like. If this seems like the right device for you, you can find it over at blacknote.com. Be sure to visit us today, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Of course, happy vaping.